most dangerous place I've ever taken photos of Frederick and throw out stuff that I really, really, really don't need anymore. Like, because I could smell smoke and I wanted to know where it was coming from. currently sitting in the car it is 9 30 and we just took Frederick's morning photos and also a little bit of his video for next week for his outfits um, so yeah we came to this like empty warehouse today well we didn't go inside the warehouse we went on the outside because the warehouse is locked um, but yeah we came here and it was really good but it's quite dangerous here because the road is still used by cars so it was my most dangerous place I've ever taken photos of Frederick but we are now heading home because we're literally not doing a thing today well I really don't want to do a thing today Jason has gone to work there's no one next to me Jason has gone to work this morning um, so he's not here for the next couple of weeks which kind of sucks I do hate when it's fly out day and I'm alone again for the next couple of weeks, it does suck. <laughs> We're back home now, guys, and I'm just trying to get Mr. Frederick inside. He just wants to stand at the door or shut the door. Just have to let him outside until he cries. He's locked in the garage, it's like, he can't get out anywhere. Do you want to come back in? Do you want to come in? Come in. Finally inside guys, just took about 20 minutes to get him inside. I already can tell by my morning that it's going to be one of those days that I can't stand anything. Everything's going to get on top of me and annoy me so easily. I can already tell that it's going to be one of those days. Already annoyed at how messy this house is. It is absolutely filthy. So I think I'm going to take an hour out of my morning and tidy this house out, vacuum, mop, do a lot of other stuff because it's absolutely disgusting. My kitchen is disgusting. My dining room is disgusting. I need to wash our sheets. I need to wash Frederick's sheets. It's just, everything's gross and I just need to have this house clean and smell nice. So I'm going to get cracking on that guys because oh, this house is just infuriating me more and more. The, the more I look at it, the more infuriated I'm getting from it. So the house is now a lot tidier. It's so much cleaner, guys, and it smells good. I love when you like clean your house, and it just smells so nice and clean. Even made time to make Frederick's bed. I didn't wash the sheets, but I will later on. I just needed to have the bed tidy because it was bothering me. But Frederick's, Freddie has got a little snack now because it is like 10, almost 10.30, so he's got his snack for the day. So snack wise, he is having sultanas, fruit and nut, and some strawberries. How do you like that for a snack, darling? Mm -hmm. Yummy? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Aren't you lucky? Of course you're going for the fruit and nut. Aren't you? And I am going to get myself a cup of tea. And then I also am going to get some strawberries for myself, I think. And sit down and watch some TV. I'm trying to find where I can find Wentworth. Because we've only got Netflix. And I don't know if Wentworth is on Netflix. I need to find a new TV show to fall in love with. Because all the ones I have watched that I binge watch, I've watched too many times. Or I finished the new seasons. And I'm struggling to... 
I don't know, I'm struggling to watch TV like normal TV. So if anyone has any TV shows on Netflix that they enjoy watching, please let me know down below so I can go try and get into them because I need some new TV shows to watch while I'm at home. It's meant to be raining guys and I have a feeling it's not going to. The clouds aren't dark enough for, my windows are filthy. Um, for it to rain. Look at that amazing blue sky. It's so nice. It is not rain weather at all. Apparently it is actually our hottest June in like a gazillion years, which I couldn't believe. Like it's not really that hot, but as a winter month, it shouldn't be as warm as it is. Even though I'm wearing like warm winter clothes, people are still walking around in shorts. I don't know how they do it, but um, yeah, people are still walking around in shorts in June. It is like the middle of winter right now, and here in Perth, people are wearing shorts. So I've just come into this spare room of ours, and I've decided I want to clean it out. I've been wanting to do this for a long, long, long time, guys, but I've been putting it off. So I'm actually going to clean out my makeup. I've done this a couple of times, but I'm serious this time. I actually still have the box down there full of all the makeup that I threw out last time that I actually haven't taken to I won't shelter or you know donated it or sold it or anything like that it's literally just been chilling in that box for a couple of months but I'm going to do a serious clean out guys I've got three little containers that I'm going to fill up with makeup that I want to keep and that is literally all the makeup I'm going to keep. I do want to get rid of this desk and these drawers very, very, very soon. I feel like the only thing that will make me push to get rid of these is, is if I clean out all my makeup. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm literally going to clean out everything and see what I'm left with after. This is a little bit scary guys because I've done clean outs before and I've kept a lot of things that I probably shouldn't keep. But I'm serious this time. I'm going to go through everything and throw out stuff that I really, really, really don't need anymore. Can we just talk about how filthy the front of these drawers are? They're so disgustingly filthy. I need to give them a good clean before someone gets them when I sell them because they're absolutely disgusting. So I'm going to show you guys what's in my drawers and then I'll show you what I'm left with, I guess. So first one is quite messy. This is obviously foundations, concealers, primers and some powders. Next one I've got here is just bronzers, blushes and highlighters. All my lipsticks next, which you can tell that they're not in these containers anymore because Frederick keeps on pulling them out. Some palettes and all my um, falsies. And then the last one here is literally just loose palettes that I've got just like flying everywhere. I did it guys! I cleaned out all my drawers and this is what I'm left with. So I've got all my foundation primers and concealers in here. So I did get rid of like six or seven foundations which is a lot. Most of these are double colours so um, they're double shades of the same foundation. I got all my brushes that I have decided to keep. I've got some falsies that I decided to keep. All my palettes. The palettes I struggled to get rid of, so I decided to um, keep them all. And then what else do I have here? Just like some other brushes stuff. And then in this one, I've got all my blushes, my bronzers, my highlighters, all my liquid lipsticks that I'm keeping. I'm literally only keeping like one or two cream lipsticks. I've got my powders and my eyebrow products in there. This is literally all the makeup I'm only keeping. I'm going to put this in my wardrobe so it stays safe in my wardrobe away from this little mister's hands. But this is literally all the makeup I'm getting rid of, guys. I just added a bunch of makeup in there um, that wasn't in there before. Frederick decided he wants to not show you guys. But I'll just show you how these two can go because I don't want them. So show you just... Uh, Frederick's been... The empty drawers. So... They're all empty, every single one of them, and that's literally all the makeup that I owned, guys. All of that. I'm going to donate all of this. This stuff has been sitting here for a while. Yes, I'm going to donate every single bit of this makeup. I can't believe it, guys. There's literally heaps and heaps 
of makeup in there. Wow. Wow, Freddie. Can you believe it? Mummy's so wow. good. Wow. I honestly can't Daddy. believe I'm getting rid of this much makeup. Can you believe it, Frederick? I can't believe it. But I'm really happy that I'm only going to stick with these little containers full of makeup. I just want to, I guess, declutter our household. Plus, I want to live a more minimalistic, is that the word? Minimalist? life basically i don't want to have so much clutter in our house and clutter in our lives so that's why i've decided to come into this room to try and minimize the clutter that we have plus i'm sick of this room being like a junk room i actually want to put this as a proper room soon plus if we ever have kids like more kids this has to become a bedroom one day so we need to get rid of all this junk that we've got in this bedroom and I need to put it somewhere else or throw it out or do something with it because I'm so sick of having all this junk. Look at all this junk behind me. So much junk that I need to get rid of. So this is where I'm going to keep all my makeup now just in our wardrobe. I feel like it's a better place for it to be homed just right there underneath our shoes and next to our clothes. I think it's a little cute area. I should put a mirror there one day. Frederick is still saying hello to himself. Are you saying hi? Oh, sure. No, you can't figure it out, can you? But this is all the junk that I'm throwing out, guys. There is so much rubbish in here that I'm throwing out, like makeup that's out of date and that's empty and all this kind of stuff. So I'm throwing all of that out. Don't mind the wind. You'll probably hear the wind like shattering in the background. I came outside because I could smell smoke and I wanted to know where it was coming from. I thought it was our next neighbour, but there's actually like a fire somewhere. Or like, I don't know, like there's a... I don't know if you are able to tell, but that tree there is like fogged out. I don't know, compared to that tree, it looks really like smoky. I don't know what's going on, guys. Frederick is still enjoying the, the sun, no matter what the smoke is telling him to do. You're playing with Tiger. Tiger, well done. You're going to hide it, aren't you? You're going to go hide it? Thank you. He just gave me this little nut thing. And he's hiding Tiger's toy. You think it's so funny? <laughs> you think it's so funny? I think we're going to say goodbye, guys. I want to enjoy the rest of the day with Frederick. So I think we're going to say goodbye. So I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. Please let me know what you thought about today's vlog. So if you're not subscribed to our channel, please click that subscribe button because today we hit 5.5 thousand subscribers and I would love to add more to our family. I also want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed to us and thank you for helping us reach our goal of 5.5 thousand subscribers. I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye! Bye.